Blue Boo, will you break our oath? Is this how you repay me? Our oath? Ah, don't make me laugh. This is where you must die. You damn minx. You planned this, didn't you? Magnificent, my lord! Now you can fight your battles the way you please, without any concern for what others may think. Yes. No one will impede me anymore. I will continue to fight to prove that I am the strongest this land has ever seen. What will you do, Liao-chan? You have achieved what you set out to achieve. There is no reason for you to stay here anymore. <gasps> I... You do not need to answer, if you do not want to. If I have eased even a little of your suffering, then I am satisfied with that. Lord Lubu. Diao Chun expertly carried out the plot entrusted to her. Dong Zhuo was slain by Lu Bu, and the land once again knew peace. She was able to fulfill the wish of her adopted father, Wang Yun. However, she could not hide the look of despair on her face. Now that it was all over, Diao Chun was forced to confront a truth that she knew all along. With determination in her heart, she spoke to Lu Bu. Master Lu Bu. This is... As far as I will go. Why, Diao Chan? We're only just getting started. I tried to repay my stepfather's kindness to me. I was the poison he sent. I am not someone you should have at your side. That is what I wish. I understand. I will grant you your wish. But you must promise me one thing. Live as yourself, not as poison. Not as your father's pawn. Farewell, Diao Chan. Thank you so much. 
Lord Yubu. I shall continue to live. My heart is with yours forever. <laughs>